1-800-253-3139. InfoWars Life. Secret to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Thursday, January 28th, 2016, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here's what's coming up tonight. Tonight, the return of political science theater 3K. Trump dumps Fox in favor of his own event. Our cameras will roll on the Donald, as well as real-time debate analysis from the Central Texas Command Center. Play Mr. Trump. Considers Megan Kelly very, very scary. And you know, Donald is a fragile soul. I mean, she might ask a mean question, and who knows what could happen. I mean, his hair could stand on end. That's next. drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water, pairing the unprecedented super filtration power of an all-new gravity block core with a hybrid chromatic shell. It removes up to 99.999% of impurities, including bacteria, viruses, fluoride, disinfectants, volatile organic contaminants, and hormones. Filter capacity up to 5,000 gallons, stainless steel construction, easy assembly, low maintenance, replacement filters are simple to install, and now, as part of an exclusive limited time introductory offer, you can save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping. This is a limited time offer, so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off. Go to InfoWarsStore.com or call 888-253-3139. Will he or won't he? That is the question everyone is asking. Has Donald Trump has set, set up his own event where he is set to raise money for veterans. He is going to skip the Fox debate altogether. This is apparently due to a rift he's having with Megyn Kelly. The frontrunner for the Republican nomination is going to be hosting his own event in Iowa. He says that the Fox News debate is going to be a total disaster. It's likely going to damage their primetime TV ratings. And of course, Fox News is the most powerful force in Republican politics. A lot of people are saying that this is a risky move. It could cost him votes at Monday's Iowa caucuses. And this is, of course, the first nominating contest in the November 8th presidential elections. Now, a lot of networks are going to be streaming Trump's Trump's event live. Uh, we will as well, we'll we're going to be having our own live stream set up there on the ground in Iowa. You can watch that at Infowars.com forward slash show, as well as on the Alex Jones YouTube channel. And also, Trump announced on Twitter that he's created a site, DonaldTrumpForVets.com. It's for all of his supporters to donate directly to military veterans. Now, a lot of people that are going to be on the stage tonight have said that Don Donald Trump is just a big chicken and he doesn't want to show up to the debate because he's too afraid to face them over some of these more important issues. People like Ted Cruz. Um, they're sort of taking this as an opportunity to really bash him, which of course doesn't ever end up looking too good for them because of course Trump isn't there to defend himself. So it'll be really interesting to see how these two live events play against each other. So be sure to stick around. Uh, myself, Jakari Jackson, as well as Alex Jones are gonna be right here in studio giving you our live debate coverage and analysis. Um, but the thing that's sort of funny Fox News released a statement. Trump said this is super childish, but they sent out a statement basically saying, how is Trump going to handle President Putin or Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah 
if he can't even deal with Megyn Kelly. So this is Trump saying this is basically childish and what he's proving which Fox News seems to fail to realize is that he doesn't need to deal with the establishment. This is an unprecedented time to be alive. He's basically saying, you are not the gatekeepers anymore. You are not gonna be the ones who are choosing the candidates. Rand Paul underscored this fact uh, with the last debate that he decided to, to boycott and he did his own thing on Periscope and was the top trending thing on Twitter. Everyone said he won the debate and he wasn't even there. So this is unprecedented. We've been telling you that the dinosaur media is is dying and here, you know, with this election, it's really it is really unprecedented what is happening. What a time <laughs> to be alive. Now, something else that's very interesting is uh, some other candidates that you probably didn't even know were running because they have been uh, on the uh, JV squad there for a while. Uh, Huckabee and Santorum, they have now aligned with Trump. They are going to be attending his event during this Fox News debate. Now, both of these guys were winners of the um, Iowa caucuses in the past. So Iowa took a liking to these guys. And this is basically going to be a win-win for all involved uh, because it's going to give both of them more attention than they've gotten in the past. Um, it also it lets people know that they support what Trump is doing with skipping this debate, but it's also going to help shift the tension away from Senator Ted Cruz, who right now is Trump's main competitor in this race. And of course, Cruz is the candidate who is appealing to the evangelical voters. Um, and these are the evangelical voters who actually helped Huckabee win in 2008. So this is all pretty intelligent what's going on here, uh, what's happening. And of course, it's going to be interesting to watch it all unfold live. Now, in another scandal, the FBI says they are not letting up on Hillary Clinton's email investigation. And of course, this is causing a lot of Democrats to be really nervous if she gets the nomination. Uh, this hat could drop for her at any time. So the former FBI officials said that the length of this probe is not unusual, and they speculated that a decision on whether to file charges against Clinton or her top aides could come later this year. But of course, that would be during the heat of the general election campaign. But they said they're, they're not playing politics. They don't even care about politics. They're worried on this investigation. Whereas the Clinton campaign is saying that this is all just, you know, a vast right wing conspiracy to take her down. And so... This is, of course, giving pause to Democrats who are concerned about making her the nominee. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a topic in the general election if she is going to get the, the nomination, but it's also going to weaken Democratic enthusiasm. And it's absolutely going to turn off those swing voters who are undecided either way. If Hillary Clinton is constantly having to dodge these questions about being a liar and a cheat and all of that, they're probably going to swing in the opposite direction. But interestingly, Clinton, she might not even be the one that gets taken down for a potential crime in the end uh, because they're saying, well, she didn't appear to send most of the emails that are now marked classified. She was just the receiver of them. They were largely forwarded to her by her top aides. So they might be the one who actually take the, the fall for Hillary Clinton. So that's... Um, going to be pretty interesting as well. We'll be watching that unfold. And also something else to be looking out for with the caucuses coming up next week. The Sanders camp says they are super suspicious of Microsoft's influence in the Iowa caucus. Now, it's just days away, and this is the campaign of, of Bernie Sanders. They're raising questions about Microsoft's involvement for the first time this year. Microsoft has partnered with both the Iowa Democrats and Republican parties. They've provided them a technological platform that the parties are going to use to run their caucuses. Uh, it's an app that will allow um, each party to, to tabulate the votes from individual precincts across the state, and then they can send them to party headquarters. And of course, the arrangements are very suspicious to Bernie Sanders aides, they say, uh, corporate power and the billionaire class are trying to hijack democracy. Um, Sanders's campaign manager there in Iowa actually said, you'd have to ask yourself why they'd want to give something like that away for free. Hello, <laughs> isn't that ironic considering Sanders is running his entire campaign on giving away stuff for free? So <laughs> nothing is for free. Apparently you can't trust a giant corporation that wants to hand you stuff for free but you can trust a giant government under Bernie Sanders, right? So we're all just supposed to suspend our disbelief. Now, 
I'm sure one topic that's going to be on the mind of every voter's this election cycle is the economy. And Harry Dent was actually on the Alex Jones show today, and Alex decided to challenge two top economists with this question. Max Kaiser, another smart guy, made a lot of accurate predictions, predicted the crash that was coming, some other things, but been, you know, had, made a few mistakes as well, but, but a smart guy outside the box, uh, international TV host, former stockbroker. Uh, I brought up Dent to him and said, look, Dent's been a little more accurate than you in some ways. What do you say to him uh, when you think gold's going to come back up? Uh, here's that clip for Mr. Dent. Look, Harry Dent has been really good in terms of the last five years. If you, if you, with all the people that you just mentioned, he's probably got the hottest hand in terms of calling deflation, where everyone else has really been saying inflation. He was very good to say deflation. All commodities have been deflating, oil's deflating, and he includes gold in that basket. But what I, my response would be, look at gold outside of just the U.S. dollar, because if you look at it, through other currencies, it's reacting very, very well. It's hitting new all-time highs, number one. Sure, number so two, outside of the rigged economy, it's doing well. Well, on a global basis, it's it's responding well. And, and the second point I would make is that what one, one aspect that Mr. Dent does not get into that I think is worthy of consideration that would change the dynamic pretty dramatically is if a country like Russia or China decides to partially back their currency with gold so gold is once again monetized then then it's really a different paradigm at that point all right and it, it, you'll see uh i think gold resume it's it's long-standing okay let's jump role. i want to go to more calls but okay uh, that's max kaiser from russia there in red square tuesday joining us mr dent your response to what he said yeah, I mean, first of all, Max, I've been wrong at times, too. Anybody that makes strong forecasts is going to be wrong. And we did see this deflationary thing. That's been our big theme is, is the baby boomers slowing down, the largest generation in history, and a deflation from the bubbles of the past, and especially from the overexpansion of China. So I agree with you. I mean, that's what's been most hitting gold is that China is one of the biggest buyers of gold in the world. Not, you know, not just industrial consumers. Which but he's saying if their stocks go down and their currencies devalue, that they'll they'll run to gold, whether 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 you think it's a commodity or real or not. Well, well, I I, I think they're learning the same thing that gold was a bubble. I mean, I was I was debating, uh, you know, many gold bugs, and and they always say, oh, well, gold's not a bubble. I'm like, it went up 670 percent in 10 years. That's a bubble in any stock, any real estate, any commodity. Um, so I think gold is just coming back down to reality. I think long-term gold is going to do well because we're going to have an emerging country-led boom. Oh, yeah, I think you answered that fairly. Uh, I think you're both very smart. People can make their own decisions, but obviously time will tell. Well, U.S. scientists are urging the World Health Organization to take urgent action over the Zika virus, which they say has the potential to be an explosive pandemic. They are sending out warnings worldwide, saying more than 23 countries are now affected by this Zika virus, uh, which is linked to shrunken brains in children, and it can also cause death. A lot of countries are urging women to postpone pregnancy until 2018, until more is known about the effects of this virus, and there is no cure for it. Right now, they're telling people to just ensure you don't leave any standing water on your property. Of course, I'm sure they're rushing to find a vaccine for this. Now, today, earlier, I spoke with uh, investigative journalist John Rappaport to get his take on this explosive pandemic. Is it really hysterical or is it a scam? So, John, by now, everyone has heard about the Zika virus. They're putting out all of these alerts. Use mosquito repellent. Don't have any standing water on your property. Uh, telling women to actually postpone pregnancy till 2018 in some countries. What do you make of this? Is this true hysteria? Is this just a giant scam? Giant scam. <laughs> you know, multiple choice question, and there's the right answer. Giant scam. I've been to this rodeo many times before with viruses and so-called diseases being caused by viruses. And in my recent article at No More Fake News, I run down the useless and deceptive laboratory tests that try to define how, for example, the Zika virus is causing babies to be born with smaller heads and damaged brains. And the science absolutely does not hold up. 
But what does hold up as a cause of this happening, and I believe there are multiple causes, and you need to look to 